Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Dietsch here and I'm coming to you from New Orleans from the National Fried Chicken Festival. Let's go check that out. The Fried Chicken Festival takes place right across from Harris Casino, right there behind the Ottoman Aquarium of the Americas and all down that way in Waldenburg Park. Very easy to find. There are plenty of choices for you to get here. You can take the streetcar, of course, that is a preferred method by a lot. You can Uber. There are plenty of places to park here, but I have chosen to park in the Canal Place parking garage, mainly because I didn't know if it was gonna rain. I was just trying to protect myself from getting too wet and having to run in my car in the rain. So I chose the garage, and it's actually a little bit cheaper to park there than it is in one of the outside parking lots across from the French Quarter and in front of Oldenburg Park and it's not that much further to walk either walking up here you can see that there's quite a few people here though it's not as packed as when I came last year and that could be because of the impending weather that's on its way in fact if you look behind me you can see the big clouds the big dark clouds coming our way the National Fried Chicken Festival takes place right behind the Aquarium of the Americas. Very iconic symbol here that you see this green glass building here. And it's directly on the river. As the ferry departs the dock here, you can check out some of the people riding the back of it. Riding on the old Mississippi River here. Beautiful sight. This is something I love to come see when I'm out here. It's just stand here, right here on the edge and watch the ferries come back and forth. You can see on the other side there is the dock for the West Bank. We're on the East Bank, that's the West Bank. One of the first things that I've noticed this year, it is not nearly as crowded as it was last year when I was here. And again, that could be because of the weather, but there are maybe a quarter of the amount of people here this time than there were the last time I was here a year ago which is fine with me. As I make my way to Oldenburg Park, this is, this is not necessarily the entire thing here. This is just the beginning of the festival. The festival is actually right down that way. You can see all the little tents and so forth set up. That's where all the food and the vendors are. That's where I'm headed. And that's probably where more of the people are too. As you can see, there are some things here, some activities here to do, some food trucks. This is a crepe truck, apparently. There are some ice cream stands, an AT&T booth there. So you can get some drinks right here. You got some vodka lemonade, some strawberry vodka lemonade. It is one of the beautiful things about the festival in New Orleans is there's plenty of alcohol to go around. And I might be partaking in a little bit of that. I don't know, we'll see. As you can see, now I'm entering the actual Waldenburg Park area. This is kind of the primary grounds of where the festival is but still not anywhere close to the amount of people I experienced last year. Cool shirt, man, I like that shirt. He was wearing a 1984 World's Fair shirt. But yeah, you can see here, this is where all the food vendors are set up and there's a lot of places here selling various versions of fried chicken. Some have no lines, some have short lines, some have the long line. This line, the longest line so far is for Heard that chicken, and let's see what everybody's here for. At Bourbon Street Love, boneless fried chicken over homestyle macaroni and cheese topped with crawdad cream sauce. That sounds good to try that. I should also mention that I am here roughly around the start of the festival. It starts at 11 o'clock, I'm here at about 12.30. So it not necessarily has gotten kicked off to a full start yet, so there's people still coming, I'm sure. As the day progresses, I'm sure the people will start filling up in here and those lines that we saw will get much, much longer. This came from that direction. That's where the aquarium is. This is kind of the end of the aquarium or IMAX theater, which is attached to the aquarium. I'm in Waldenburg Park here and I'm making my way a little further down. The river is right over there. There's live music here. That's another thing about this festival. It's not just about chicken. There's live music performances. If you so choose, they have a VIP lounge. You can buy tickets. Now the festival is free, but you can buy VIP tickets and come here to the lounge. They got champagne, they got really comfortable seating, sofas and whatnot. 
you can sit, listen to the live music, enjoy some fans, some air, you're in the shade. Not a bad deal. As I further my way into the park, you can see there's more drink vendors here. Lots and lots of alcohol choices for you. And it's not just all alcohol. They've got Cokes, they got water. But it's mostly alcohol. <laughs> I've come up to another grouping of vendors selling food. McCarty's Chicken and Fixin', Atlas Monroe. The original Fiorella's Cafe. Tiger's Creole Cuisine. Flavor Creations. Rouse's Markets, a local grocery store chain, all selling different types of fried chicken. You got pepper jelly chicken and strawberry waffles. You've got fried chicken po' boy. You got crispy fried chicken wings with collard greens and rice or fries. You got just standard, regular fried chicken. You got wings with potato salad. You got vegan options. And you've got fried chicken, potato salad, coleslaw, some chicken strips. A little bit of everything for everybody. And over in this section of the park, there's a little more of a crowd here. I believe that's for Gus's Fried Chicken. They are the world famous Gus's Fried Chicken. They are here. This was a big deal for them coming here. Frenchman Street Deli, Bayou Hot Wings, My Mama's House, Blue Oak Barbecue. This place has a donut chicken burger, fried boneless chicken. Oh my goodness gracious, man. They've got all kinds of good stuff here. I'll take a two piece dark. Dark and So I'm at Gus's, they're from, they're from Memphis, and I want to find out what makes Gus's so special. I would like for you to bite it and tell me what you think. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste it and I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> so, I got the two piece dark meat. Give me a leg and a thigh. I'm going to try this out. This looks too good. I got I to gotta try it. spicy too. It's got a nice crunch to it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They live up to the name. Absolutely. Gus's world famous fried chicken. A big thumbs up from me. So I will say that Gus's fried chicken from Memphis, Tennessee, some of the best fried chicken I've ever had, ever hands down Gus's fried chicken and they're gonna be here they're gonna they're they're opening a place right here in New Orleans stay tuned for that when they open I'll be there that's another amazing thing about this city these festivals there's no shortage of alcohol and live music it's a beautiful thing to walk around and listen to and the view is not so bad either right here on the river it's pretty amazing so in this grouping here we got Fraser's Connection, Oceana Grill, Bell's Diner, Heard That Kitchen, Max's Wine Dive and some of the different things that you see up here is Buffalo Chicken Tacos They've got something called the Warbird, which is two pieces of fried chicken tenderloins topped with provolone, bacon, honey mustard, and it's all on a brioche bun. Over here we got Willie's Chicken Shack, Philippe's, Nola Chef Table, Fatty's Cracklins, Polo, or Pollo, and Dunbar's. And Willie's is very famous here in New Orleans. You come to New Orleans, you want some good fried chicken, you go to Willie's Chicken Shack. But at Philippe's, they've got fried chicken tacos. At Nola Chef Table, they got chicken and grits. They got Fatty's Cracklins. They've got boudin balls there. Those are good. I like boudin balls. <laughs> Here we got chicken uh, chicken gyro with fries. We got loaded fries topped with chicken, cheese, and more. 
at Dunbar's, you got a crazy chicken po' boy with french fries or jalapeno hush puppies. That all sounds really, really good. I have to try the boudin balls. So I'm gonna make my way over to Fatty Cracklins here. And I'm gonna try these boudin balls. How are the boudin balls? Come get the boudin balls. Give me an order of boudin balls, okay. please. I'll take that. I'm gonna try them up. And we put a, uh, a fry sauce on top. Fry sauce? What's uh -huh. a fry sauce? It's like a mayo with a lot of Cajun spices. Oh, okay. In there. Yeah, let's try that. Thank you very much. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Look at that. Check that out, man. That looks so good. Oh my god. Let's give this a shot, shall we? That's really good. So what's inside is like rice and meat and it's fried and it's just absolutely amazing. Typically boudin comes in like a sausage casing but more recently they've been making boudin out of anything. Boudin balls, boudin donuts. It's weird. Boudin balls at Fatty Cracklins. Very good. One of the downfalls about having a festival in the summertime well, technically it's now fall, is the heat. It is very warm out here. A lot of people walking around fanning themselves with different things. Well, that's gonna do it from the National Fried Chicken Festival in New Orleans, 2018. I wanna thank you for watching. I appreciate you checking this video out, checking other videos out. If you don't mind, click the little thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you want to see some other videos, you want to stay on top of when I upload, when I go live, click the little subscribe button down below. And right next to it is a little bell icon. You click that bell and you'll get notified anytime that I upload a video and go live, whatever. And if you feel like throwing some support my way, I do have some shirts available. Go to shop.spreadshirt.com slash noladige. Or you can also go to my website, noladige.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at at the National Fried Chicken Festival 2018. Go pass a good time. And if anybody is concerned about missing the Saints game while they're here, don't worry, they've got it on. You can walk by, you can hang out and listen to the game as it plays live so you don't miss anything while you still enjoy the fried chicken.